Hello, this is Running Robert, and today we're going to talk about the Peloton Technologies PPN summary for the 23rd of October, 2023, in which we're going to look at the three pieces of news that we've gotten in the last week, and we're going to be looking at the bullish and the bearish parts of them. So, uh, I generally follow Small Cat Pharma, I do games, so if you like what I'm doing, please like, subscribe, and comment. It helps out a lot, and thank you. Uh, disclaimer is i do own stock in the company i'm an amateur investor and any advice given should be followed up by your own due diligence and any information given is valid for today the 23rd of october 2023 and the slideshow will not be updated as you get new news new slideshows so what happened so the stock closed around dollar 75 dollar 80 on the 18th of october and over the next two days rose to around 250 sell around 240 at the end of friday obviously today it's probably going to settle lower than that for sure probably two to 220 that's what i'm thinking but we'll see but on the 18th palton announced positive preclinical data for a new weight loss drug which would be starting clinical trials in the first quarter of 2024 and then following up with that on the 19th palton announced preliminary third quarter 2023 sales data for valisi which had net product revenue around 2 million very positive and then the bad news on the 23rd palton announced a direct offering which included around 2.3 million shares and 2.3 million warrants at about 212. So a lot of news in the last week, that is for sure. But we're going to look at all three things individually, see what happens. So what does it matter? So the weight loss drug. So weight loss drug is meant to be paired with the current weight loss drugs on the market and help with the weight loss, but also help ease the side effects of those drugs. It is a unique thought process, and so it would not be directly competing with any of those drugs, but would be more of a combo drug. If the drug can ease the side effects, which are impacting the weight loss drug community, it can easily find its way onto the market without competition. So that is pretty much it in a nutshell. The drug is meant to ease a lot of the symptoms that are associated with the current drugs that are on the market. I see this as an absolute win-win for pretty much everyone involved. Because for Palatin, obviously, you get a drug on the market. For any of these weight loss drugs, obviously, the longer people are on your drugs, the more money you make. So I, like I said, I see this as a win-win for everyone involved. Since there's no direct competition, I think we would be in good shape if it works. That's very positive news. Then uh, Valisi sales data. So I had predicted earlier that I expect to see about $2 million in net revenue by the end of the year. And we have now hit that a quarter early. And it seems that the drug continues to be used and sold without much marketing support. They do it on a shoestring budget. Um, my expectations was 2.5 to 3.5 by the end of 2024. And I'm definitely going to revisit that prediction as higher to 3 to 4 by the end of 2024, which again, looking very nice for the company. Uh, the company again is looking for a partner and this will help us in any deal made again they are getting profitable by barely marketing it so again if you put some real boots on the ground there might be a real chance that they can really drive sales for this so again i see this as again very positive news now the negative news so surprisingly but really Thinking about it, not really. The company will net an extra $5 million in cash from this, which will should push cash to last until the first quarter of 2024. The company is grossly short on cash and was expected to have just enough to survive to the end of the year and Melody 1 data. Uh, this could also mean that Melody 1 data will be delayed until quarter 1, 2024, since the company has a little bit more of a runway. So they were really going to be close with their cash situation. They said end of year and Melody 1 data was supposed to be released late of this end of year so uh, again it's surprising that they did it but not really it is a fairly small offering with only about two less than two and a half million shares and only going to net about five million up now five million when the warrants are done in about six months so this is not a long-term solution or a long-term offering this is pretty much just to get to the data so looking ahead so we continue to look forward to melody one data and the uc data this quarter however based on the offering that could be delayed uh, after melody one would be the best chance for them to do a large stock offering as cash will only last until somewhere in first quarter of 2024 and then with today's offering it greatly reduces the chances that they have any more major deals coming in 2020 so again melody one data is the data that we're looking at let's be honest that is the best chance for this company in the future to be an extremely profitable company. They said that Melody One data would be delayed until late 2023. This stock offering gives them a little bit more breathing room. So it's not 
I, I can see why they did it. I don't like it, but I can see why they did it. And it definitely makes me think there could be a delay in the data. So uh, two good PR, uh, two good PRs and two good days, one bad PR and probably one bad today, one bad day today. 100% correct with that. Uh, there isn't much more to say that hasn't been said already. We will just have to wait for data and look forward to the quarterly conference call, which should be around the 13th of November for information and timelines. And that's what I'm doing. I'm, again, this the last couple of days doesn't change much. No, just waiting on Melody One data. If that is positive, there will probably be a very large stock offering from there, but we will just have to see. And that is kind of pretty much what I'm banking on, especially with today's uh, news. So, hey. But thank you guys very much for watching and listening, and I hope you have a wonderful day.